Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is vlogmas number four or five, depending on if I uploaded my sick vlog or not. Like, not sick vlog, but the one I was actually sick in it. Um, as you can still hear, I'm not 100% healthy yet, but I woke up today and decided that's it. Yesterday was my last day of being sick and today I'm healthy again. I might not sound like it, but mindset people, it's all in the mindset. <laughs> but I do still have my cup of tea here. Anyways, I thought I would start this uh, vlogmas vlog by saving my nails and talking a bit about growth on YouTube because it's something I have been thinking about in the past two months quite a lot and especially now that the year is coming to an end and I'm checking up on my goals and realizing I failed absolutely every single one of them, I, I I just wanted to talk about it. I don't know, maybe some of you can resonate. I'm not sure how many small YouTubers are watching my videos, but maybe this also resonates with other people in other goal-making parts of their life. Um, so yeah, we're gonna talk about all of that and also, as I said, fix my nails. Should I quickly show you how my nails look like? Honestly, I think I have them for like three or four weeks now and I think for that amount of time they still look pretty good. Yes, I'm missing two, but other than that, I did a good job. These are my third ever nails. I just started making gel nails at home. I wanted to talk about growth and the lack of it. So pretty much every time at the end of each year I go and check on my goals even though I don't follow them throughout the year that is the main reason why I usually reach none of my goals I'm just a chronic goal maker but I don't follow through <laughs> ever my goal for this year my subscriber count goal was 10k now I want you to look at my subscriber count and tell me if I reached that I didn't I failed miserably if we're just looking on numbers because I do believe that you shouldn't measure your success solely on numbers but if we were just looking on numbers I failed miserably especially considering the fact that I started with 5,000 subscribers this year so I started with 5,090 I believe and I'm currently at 5,690 pretty much. So I gained around 600 subscribers this year in comparison to the 5,000 I wanted to gain. Um, so seeing that obviously is a bit discouraging and it makes you wonder, okay, where did I go wrong? What did I do? What did I not do? What needs to change? So yeah, this is not about putting myself down. This is just voicing my thoughts and opinions about the whole growing on YouTube kind of thing. So during this year, I had a lot of moments where I thought about giving up on my channel. Not because I didn't have any fun doing YouTube, but because I didn't see the point of it. I felt like I was putting so, so much work and so, so much of myself out there. And I tried the consistency thing. I tried the being better at the thumbnail making. I tried everything that these people are telling you to do, except for making shorts. That's something I need to work on. And it still didn't really work. And that is discouraging. And I don't blame anyone for giving up because at a certain point, I do believe that you need to ask yourself, is it still bringing joy? Like do a little Marie Kondo. On the situation. Is video making still bringing you joy or is it just a stressful factor in your life that is being used for, by yourself to put yourself down because of artificial numbers? Well that got deep real quick. Anyways, but I came to the conclusion every single time I was stressed out by it that it's still bringing me joy. The actual part, the actual video making isn't stressful. So after I came to the realization that video making is still fun, it's just the uploading part, and not even the uploading part itself, but the expectations to myself, of myself, 
wait, what? The expectations of myself to myself are what makes video making stressful. And so that realization kind of helped me to not stop with YouTube. So even though I hit the point of complete unmotivation a lot of times this year, I still pushed through. And honestly, I gotta, gotta pat myself on the shoulder for that because I've been doing YouTube for four years now and I feel like a lot of people only do like these I've became successful overnight videos after they became successful, obviously. So there are a lot of... There is like this phenomenon that you watch a bunch of these videos and you think, oh, that's so doable. Like everyone's getting successful overnight. And then you start doubting yourself because you suddenly don't get successful overnight. But I think what we don't see and what we often forget is that there are so many more people out there with a smaller subscriber count and they're doing it for years and they haven't become successful overnight. Obviously, we will feel bad about ourselves if we only hear stories of people suddenly becoming successful because these are the videos we are watching and these are the people who are actually making successful like videos about success because if you want to make a video about success, the main rule kind of is that you have been successful. So it's easy to only see that and kind of forget that there are so so many more people out there who don't make I became successful videos because they just haven't become successful yet. Uh, so yeah, I've come to the point of complete dismotivation, that's not a word, is it? Unmotivation? <clears throat> just no energy to create several times this year because it just like the amount of work I put into my videos and the amount of recognition I got back just didn't line up to be worth it in a way but I hate thinking that way because my worth it is measured on very successful people on people with millions of subscribers and this is my way of defining success if you have 10k subscribers if you have 100k subscribers you're being successful in the realm of the youtube world but i kind of lose my own definition of success while doing so because my own definition of success isn't a certain amount of people following me yes that definitely plays into it because the more people following you the more people watch your videos the more comments you get the more people you reach blah 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 so obviously it all is connected to the subscriber count but it's not the actual number that makes me feel like I'm successful but it's the kind of people I reach and the impact I have on these kinds of people so sometimes I get so mad about myself for putting so much importance on the numbers because what actually matters is if it impacted a person in real life and I have videos and I have people commenting that they loved it and I, I recognize people in my comments and that is what I should focus on. That is the real success here. That is people who come back to my videos to unwind, to relax or to get entertained. And I'm so annoyed by myself sometimes that sometimes that isn't enough. Sometimes I'm, I'm getting lost in the world of numbers in comparing myself to other creators and their numbers and completely ignoring that I have people watching my videos and I have people commenting and taking time out of that day to comment my videos and that is what should actually matter and not just the numbers. Don't get me wrong, my goal for 2024 will still be 10k but I don't want the 10k to be just a number I work towards as a number, like as an artificial thing and as an like technical thing. But for me, setting the goal of 10k means working like I already have 10k, which means for me in my head, 5,000 subscribers, the ones I have right now, in my head, no one cares. In my head, I feel like there's no one waiting for my videos, which might not be true. I'm not sure. Maybe one of you is watching this and you are actually waiting for my videos. And if that's the case, big love to you. I appreciate you so much. But I, in my head, I feel like no one cares, right? So I also don't upload regularly because no one cares. I don't put 100% of my energy into the video because no one cares. So by giving myself the goal of 10k, I put myself in the mindset, wow, here I go with 
the right mindset but no it's it's actually kind of important but i put myself into the mindset of myself how i would act if i already had 10k and for some reason 10k for me is the number where i can fully say i've made it as a youtuber i'm i'm oh it's so dark i should turn on the light the, it's really so ugly i'm sorry so it feels kind of scary to put out my goal on the internet especially if it's considered such an artificial goal of reaching a subscriber count but it's genuinely not about like the actual fame or the money behind it because 10k in this world is still not a lot like thinking about it obviously 10,000 people like in a cinema watching your videos is huge but 10,000 people in the youtube world is still like that's that's what i'm talking about like don't measure your success on like these numbers because these numbers get warped so easily because youtube like the youtube space is so saturated with very big creators that we sometimes lose the reality of it all like 100 people watching your videos in real life like being at your house and watching the video with you would be insane like your mom would be so proud so 500 people watching your videos is even crazier so don't belittle that so yeah it feels scary to put that out there especially since it's in a way not in my control so maybe next year i'm still at 5,000 subscribers goals for me need to be aiming very high because that only means that you will do your absolute best to reach it if it's achievable i can get lazy but if it's unrealistic, I actually need to work hard. So that's why I'm setting myself up for 10K again, even though I failed this year. Um, because I need to stick to that mindset of already having 10K subscribers. I think what we actually should be proud of isn't the fact that we have a certain amount of subscribers, but it's the fact that no matter what, we still show up. This. I think some people are scared to say that they're proud of themselves, but I'm just gonna say it. I am so proud of myself. I have been doing YouTube for four years now, more or less consistently, but I'm still here. I'm still showing up and I'm still creating my silly little videos. And yes, it gets frustrating. And yes, sometimes I'm questioning all of it. But at the end of the day, I have found a hobby that I have turned into a skill. Like I, I can edit videos now. I edit videos as a job now because I started four years ago to create silly little videos and I'm still here and I'm showing up and and maybe I'm not showing up for anyone out there who actually watches my videos but I'm showing up for myself I'm still doing my hobby and I'm still enjoying it and it's the only hobby that I have that has stuck to me for this amount of time so I would be a fool such a fool to let that go just because the algorithm isn't picking up so if you're in that position oh my god i'm such a motivational speaker right now so if you're in that position and you also just love creating video and it just gets frustrating because not as many people see it as you would like to hold on to that love and that passion for creating and always remind yourself that showing up every single week or every two weeks no matter how often you upload is a skill in itself and it's a super honestly it's a superpower like if you can be this disciplined with one thing it opens up doors maybe not the youtube famous influencer door but it will open up other doors and you will realize that soon enough so end of rant i'm proud of myself that i'm still here i'm proud of myself that i haven't given up and i won't give up and if that means that i'm stuck at 5,000 subscribers for the next four years then so let it be it that was wrong english i think anyways yeah i i what i'm trying to say is try to not get discouraged at the end of the year start the new year freshly readjust your goals and your values and rethink what is actually important and pull through we're gonna make 2024 absolutely amazing and i can just feel it that with hard work and discipline and fun we're gonna make it and if not 
Who cares? We still had fun. Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna fucking do my nails now. I'm gonna show you how they look in the end, but my battery's flashing. I have filmed for 40 minutes. This is a fucking podcast episode. Um, and it's probably a load of shit because I don't remember what I said. Um, but if anything of this resonated with you, let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, hi! Uh, I haven't vlogged anything yesterday. I also haven't shown you my nails yet. Which I don't want to do. <laughs> I currently have two different nail sets on my hands because I started with... Okay, let me start by saying these are ugly, okay? Very, very ugly. <laughs> but I started with these and I hate them. They look so trashy in my opinion. They look like very bad bridal nails. And not only very bad bridal nails, but they look like I did them on the day of the wedding in the only nail salon my village has to offer. No shades to village nail salons, but this is what they scream. By now I'm getting used to it, but I realize I really don't like that. So I changed them again to be round and just have like the milky color. But I also don't like these. So <laughs> I just gave up and I'm running around with two different nail sets currently, but I am gonna change these to these because these are at least better than my left hand, but still not good. Um, also, my pearls, I don't know what happened, but only one of it is still like pearly and shiny and the rest is just white plastic. So I also hate that. So I'm thinking I'm gonna remove the pearls on all of the nails and just keep it very plain and simple and just have milky normal nails. Um, but yeah, so that is my little nail update. Not as exciting and wonderful as I hoped for, but that is okay. And we have currently Saturday. It is the... Is it the last Saturday before Christmas? Oh, it's the worst day to go into the city. The two days after Christmas, my cousin is getting married. I'm flying to Greece for that. So I need a dress. I still don't have a dress. So I need to look today because if I don't find one today, I still have next week. But if I only start looking next week, I might run into issues. Yeah, now I'm ready and I'm gonna go to Kiel now. I'm not sure how much I can film tomorrow. This is probably the end of the video. So yeah, as always, I hope you enjoyed this very chaotic vlog. I'm a bit behind on editing everything. As I said, especially since my videos are doing so much worse than my Taiwan vlogs, I feel a bit unmotivated. Um, I'm not gonna give up. <laughs> Definitely not, especially since... Oh, I quickly want to talk about this. I woke up and I checked my views on the third Vlogmas video and they weren't great, absolutely not great. And I was feeling down, but after an hour or so, someone commented, someone um, who comments under a few of my videos has commented again that they love my videos and immediately once I read that comment, that made up for the little views because I knew that there's this one person that is commenting and it just 
made me so happy that I forgot that the video itself wasn't doing that great. And then I also woke up to a DM on Instagram of someone commenting to my story where I promoted the video that they have been watching my videos for years and they love them. And re having these two comments as a response to that one video that isn't going super great immediately made up for the little views because even though it doesn't have many views it reaches people that care enough to let me know that they love what I'm doing and that absolutely made my day and honestly it made my week. I'm still thinking about it and I'm still happy about it so even though I'm a bit unmotivated for this whole series and for video creating in general at the moment I am not giving up and I still appreciate that there are people out there who do watch my videos. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share that real quick because it kind of goes with the theme of the video and um, it made me really happy. I also want to make it a goal for myself this upcoming year to comment more under videos because I often think, oh, that was a great video or the video really entertained me or that video lifted my mood or whatever nice comments I have. And I rarely comment, but it is so important to let the creator know because in the end, if we don't do that, it's just views. But if there are people commenting, it's real people interacting. Let's let's try to spread more kindness, um, not under my video. I mean, you can, but also under other people's videos. If you think something nice, let them know. And that goes for real life as well. Um, and with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you did. And I'm going to see you very soon in my next Vlogmas video. I have one minute on my SD card. I'm running out of time. So bye bye. Hello, I am sick. Also, do you see that? Oh, this looks so, it looks like I peed in my bed. But I had my tea on my bed and then I knocked it over like a stupid bitch. Just, I look, I look like I have been living in the forest for the past year and I have just met back with civilization. Like what? I really don't want to go. I also need to go to the pharmacy uh, because the pain I experience at night is unreal. It's honestly the worst pain I've ever felt. So we're going to go to the pharmacy and hope that they have something that can numb my whole throat. I don't want to feel anything. I don't even want to feel air when I breathe. Okay, I don't want to know that this part of my body exists. I want to delete it of my nervous system for the next few days so that I don't have to deal with it. You know what? Being ill makes me very dramatic. Oh, what is you doing? Oh, you're picking up shit. I'm sorry. That feels like an intimate moment between a dog and a dog owner. You're doing great. Thank you for keeping the neighborhood clean. Um, what was I saying and where was I want where was I going with it and what was the main intention? Can you tell that I've been sick and I've been sick for the last week, therefore therefore I haven't spoken to a real human except for the camera. That's not even a human. I consider you a human, but you are not. So yeah. What was I wanna say? I had I promise you I had a thought. <laughs> at one point in my life. Lost my thought again. See, I wanted to talk myself down there. We don't have time to talk ourselves down. We have goals to reach.